Taking handwritten or typed notes in a lecture or meeting can be a right pain. So in this episode of this boxing, we're going to take a look at the Sonicent Recorder mobile app, which just might take away some of that pain once and for all. So if you're new to audio note taking, you probably want to take a look at our beginner's guide to audio note taking video, which you can find here or in the description below. But in a nutshell, audio note taking allows you to make recordings of your lecture or meeting to which you can add text, images or colour code to give you a multimedia reference tool rather than just scribbles on a sheet of A4. Now as well as the desktop and mobile apps, Sonicent have a note taking philosophy which they call care, as in capture, annotate, review and engage. In this video we're going to concentrate on capture and annotate. Review and engage will be covered in a separate video that will be coming soon. Now in the past taking audio notes has been a painful process. I mean having a complete record of your lecture is invaluable but trying to extract the information you need after the fact can be torturous. Being able to annotate your recordings in Sonicent Recorder can solve some of the issues you may have had with traditional audio note taking. Now you can go directly to the information you want rather than scrolling endlessly through your audio recordings to find the information that you need. So let's get started with capture. When you hit the record button you'll see that rather than just one block of audio every time I stop and start speaking a new audio chunk is created. This is a really good visual cue as to what's going on in your recording. You know how annoying it is when you've got a recording and there's a big chunk of silence, you try and fast forward through it, you overshoot, you go back and forth until you find the bit of the recording you want. Yeah, well that isn't a problem anymore. With Sonicent Recorder, you can see exactly where your audio is. I can also colour code these chunks so when I come to review my recording, I can tell exactly where the content I want is within the timeline. The default is set for red for important, blue for review, grey for don't understand, green for deadline and yellow for not needed. Another way to add order to your recordings is to create segments. So you could create a segment for different topics. You can also colour code these again to give you a visual cue as to what the segment is about. Just so you know what I'm about to say is super important so I can flag this section of audio in red to remind me about it later. Now that we've started creating segments, there's the ability to add text to give us more context when we come back to review our audio notes. To add text, simply tap in the text plane and start to type your text annotations. To add text to sections you created earlier in the recording, just scroll back through the timeline, tap on the segment and start to add text. You can also add images from your camera roll or directly from your camera's device. Just swipe right and choose the option which best suits your needs. The best thing about this is you can add all of this extra information to any part of the recording without affecting the current recording that you're making. So we'll stop the recording here. When you go to save, you're given the options to give your recording a title and add information about the topic and the speaker. Once you've saved your audio note, I always think it's good to add extra annotations that you might have not had a chance to add in your lecture or meeting. This isn't strictly part of the annotation process, but I always think it's good to get what's in your head down onto the app before it floats off into the ether. I usually do this on the train or the bus on my way home. Once you've got your annotated notes just how you want them, it's time to upload them to the Sonicent Audio Note Taker application on your desktop and start the review and engage process with your audio notes. To take a look at our review and engage video or to see how Capture and Annotate works on the desktop, click on the on-screen links or take a look in the description below. Also, check out our tips and tricks videos which will be coming soon. Make sure you subscribe here or subscribe to our mailing list to know when new shows are uploaded. Also be sure to check out the rest of this channel for more assistive tech that really can ramp up your productivity. But for now, I've been Sean Douglas, this is Disboxing and I'll see you next time. Thank you.